Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. Bro, that's a crime. Alright. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Spring, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the late flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the Spring Festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry, I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gen- Test, test. Check, check. Check. Holy sh- You own a skirt? <laughs> hey guys. Happy first <clears throat> spring fest. Thanks. I need to apologize to you guys. Bro, you still what have happened her? in the apartment. Something really messed me up. These past few weeks, I thought I had a handle on my emotions. But after what happened with Charlotte, It's the same old story. I lose control, and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, if anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Ever since we've met, you've been there for me. And then when you're the one struggling, I bail. Not cool. I'm really sorry. If we're both sorry, does that just cancel everything out? I think so. We're back to normal. <laughs> Not to spoil the moment, but Typhon blew up their own mine. Why? I don't know yet. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Oh, rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. No. The red one was 234. This game is so demoralizing. Wait. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Maybe I can help him somehow. One, two, three. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, Jellybean Lady. That's not right. This is impossible, right? Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. My mom just got a promotion, so I thought I could take her out for a nice dinner. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Just... It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like... 800 or so. Huh. I'm wrong. Yeah. Could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. 
and it's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I was close? <laughs> I should say something. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? 700. I think it's closer to 700. <laughs> yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me. They're really close to 731. 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! Your secret's... The answer is 731. <laughs> oh, she pissed, bro. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Best spring fest ever. And so, peace returned to the Jellybean Kingdom. Yep. I remember it's been a hell of a month. Excuse me. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And this is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude. Thank you so Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. in a bit, Steph. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha. Sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex... On this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Okay. There's gotta be more I can do for Ducky. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi, I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Wait, wait, don't drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you? Uh, oh, Ducky, it's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. I know that song. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest. That's right. Hey, uh, hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. Hey! Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? Steph. 
F. Who else is playing? I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out. <laughs> Who said anything about wussing out? Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. This is going to be awesome. Trust me. Um, we've never played together before, and, uh, anyway, sorry if this sucks. Hey, Charlotte. How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. It's gonna I kill me. Know. Nah, bro. Horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. You gonna commit. But now? It's messed up. It's like when your leg falls asleep. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply. But maybe this is better? There's no shame in needing to feel numb for however long it lasts, if it gets you through another day. I don't feel ashamed, but I take your point. Thank you. At least I can survive numbness. Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again! Finally! Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want! God, I forgot how fun it feels! Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. You have shit in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. Salem, Halloween capital of the world. Or so they say. <laughs> Who do I hang out with? You join a coven. A lesbian coven. Is there any other kind? <laughs> You hang out in graveyards and perform rituals to speak to the dead. None of which ever work, but that's okay. Cause I get a load of old tombstone rubbings to decorate my apartment with. That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To Salem? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day, I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the world to me. You don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It 
it's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Pike, why am I here? He about to spit some facts and on arrest me. Yep. Diane is charging you with stealing her she USB knows? drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? Blame it. Please tell me you looked at it. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, what a You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. Nah, something could, happened. But, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. I ain't believe that, nah. I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. Just record it on the phone. Should have done that. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You know what? Diane, this isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey. I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. That... I'm not signing anything. Alex... No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form. And we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Alex, please. I don't... 
don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I don't know. I was just focused on getting the truth. The truth is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fun. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? and lose, Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed, not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible, but they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Just have a little courage. Please. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Alex. Be careful. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. What have I got to lose? Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. 
emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. And he didn't tell me? Wait. You're telling me you knew that Typhon's crooked? This whole time? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. Where are we? The middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. I'm not going down there now. I know I'm not. Jed. Why are you sad? Bro. I'm sorry, kid. Okay. Just put the gun down. I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were... He did it? Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. There's no way I'm alive from that. That water? Am I underwater? Or I'm still falling. There's no way I'm alive. <laughs>